It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, July 11th. I'm James Spann. Moist air slowly working northward today. Still most likely the better chance of afternoon storms south of Interstate 20. Check it out this morning. There's the water vapor satellite view. And you can see in the image there the uh, deeper moisture across the southern half of the state. That darker color across the north is drier air. And that's kind of reflected in temperatures this morning. 63, nice in Fort Payne, but uh, from Interstate 20 south, you've got 70s with the higher dew points. Birmingham at 73, Montgomery at 74. Highs today should be in the low 90s, maybe mid-90s in spots. Up on the watch warning map, flash flood watches for parts of Indiana and Ohio. Some heat advisories across the heartland, but the things are fairly quiet. But later today, active storms likely way up north. This is their tornado season. Much of Minnesota, the Dakotas, parts of Wisconsin. A marginal risk over toward uh, Washington, D.C., New York City, and Boston. Tomorrow, risk of severe storms up north. Better chances around Chicago, Detroit, and Cleveland. And on day three, which is Thursday have a risk of severe weather, a marginal risk from near Denver all the way over to the Jersey Shore. And, of course, we're in green. That means thunderstorms are possible here, but organized severe weather not expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts well, one to two inches. Your number will vary. We'll have these scattered showers and storms around most every day. Typical for summertime. And in the tropics, uh, things are quiet. The NHC guys uh, don't expect any activity for the next 48 hours. We are watching one weak wave in the eastern Atlantic. We're watching the remnants of tropical depression for northeast of Puerto Rico. But conditions just don't seem to favor any of, the, uh, any of those two developing. In fact, nothing for the next five days highlighted now. Basically, a lot of dry air and harsh winds aloft across the Atlantic Basin. So if you got a beach trip, no tropical worries this week or over the upcoming weekend. Model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06E run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. The westerlies are up to the north. We have a flat ridge down here, and you can see the moisture creeping northward, but I don't think it rains a lot today, where we are at least. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, this is the... High res, her really not showing much at three o'clock. Maybe a few isolated showers. Uh, the better chance seems to be south of Interstate 20, east of Interstate 65. And otherwise, partly sunny and kind of hot today with dew points slowly creeping up. Tomorrow, I think a pretty typical summer day, sunny during the morning. A few spots could see a passing afternoon storm. Both the NAM and the GFS are printing a high of 90. Thursday, moisture seems to be a little deeper, but still fairly typical summer. A mix of sun and clouds with a few scattered showers and storms during the peak of the daytime heating process. And the same thing on Friday. I'd say the chance of any one spot getting wet Thursday and Friday in the 40 to 50 percent bracket, almost 50-50. And it's typically the case this time of the year, the better chance of the showers and storms between about 2 and 9 p.m. Saturday, not much change, and Sunday, not much change. A surface boundary will be just north of the state, but we'll deal with sunshine at times and scattered storms over the weekend. High temperatures pretty close to 90, uh, maybe upper 80s on Sunday. Now, this is Monday. Uh, next week, the GFS tries to push a little drier air down from the north, and this is Tuesday. Back in the upper levels, 594 heat bubble over the country's midsection. That looks pretty hot for cities like Des Moines, Omaha, Kansas City, Denver. But kind of a weak trough to the east. And again, you can see drier air tries to creep in here. And if by chance this were to verify, uh, Birmingham and points north should be mostly dry. Many showers down to the south and even there, probably not much. This is the end of the forecast period. This is Thursday of next week, the 20th. 594 Heat Ridge, a little north of here. Again, some of the hotter cities in that would be Chicago and uh, Cincinnati, Washington, D.C. And for us, uh, we're kind of below that heat. That suggests, again, fairly routine summer weather. And notice, no tropical mischief. You know, the GFS for a couple of runs had this big tropical system east of Miami. Well, it's off the board, as we thought it would probably would be. These are the anomalies, temperature anomalies for next Thursday. And 
Again, uh, temperatures maybe a little above average. That suggests highs in the low, maybe mid-90s here. But the hotter values probably to the north. And the numbers coming off the European looking pretty routine for the middle of July. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.